them. Yeah. Uh, when Vince told me months ago he was retiring in May, okay. I said, just make it through the Ice Saints. Because right. this is, well, I learned so much, we all do oh. from Vince, and this is one of my favorite weather traditions you talk about. It's like a great bedtime story at six at night. The folklore kind of, master. Yeah. He is indeed. Well, you and I have been working together, what, 23 years, mm -hmm. I think it is, so that you've been here at Channel 6. So this is this will be my last time for the three chilly Saints. Listen up, kids. <laughs> it's a great this tale. This is a good story. And actually, it's a bit of folklore that goes back to old Europe. We're talking about Poland, uh, Czechoslovakia, now the Czech Republic, of course, Germany, and so on. The three ice saints. Uh, their uh, days, May 11th, 12th, and 13th. St. Mamertus, that uh, feast day on May 11th. St. Pancras, May 12th. And St. Gervasius, May 13th. The old saying is, once you got past May 13th, you were safe of frost and freeze, and you could get out and plant the garden. In fact, the old saying used to go, he who shears his sheep before Gervasius Day loves his wool more than his sheep. Keep that wool on the sheep until after May 13th. At least that was the old saying. Now, we know in reality that even after May 13th, we can still get frosty mornings. We can still have the occasional freeze, but of course, the likelihood is less and less. But this was the old saying, and a lot of people still believe it, and it's a pretty good one to rely on. The three ice saints. We're right in the middle of it tomorrow, St. Gervasius Day.